Good to see everyone! How's it going? Having fun? Shangli and Guava! You finally made it! Well, Bullchucker's certainly having a blast. The day has finally come! Guava-san, I've been training hard at the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp, and now I want to show you just how far I've come. Uh, and Crimson Staff, too. If my progress satisfies you, then please, teach me! Show me the way to communicate with Crimson Staff, Crystal Tornado, and all the shelled organisms of this world. Do that, and I swear, once I become the reigning champion of the beetle fighting world, I will build a mighty statue in your image at the Arataki Gang's beetle fighting headquarters! Yes. What the? Guobasan got a brand new Oni Kabuto! Normal. Oh, it appears to be not a typical Onikabuto shell, but one built of resilient wood. Is it wearing a suit of armor? We told Granny all about your Onikabuto boot camp. It really piqued her interest when she heard that Guobo was getting a disciple. As it turned out, a friend of hers had made a whole bunch of gardening and landscaping machines to look after the silk flowers on the terrace. They're called bloom pruners. The Bloom Pruner can transform into the shape of any creature to blend into its environment. Squirrels, butterflies, finches, you name it. And of course, Onikabuto too. So, Master gave Globa a Bloom Pruner and got it to take the form of an Onikabuto so he can battle against you. That's pretty high tech for a gardening appliance. Uh, Xiaoling's master is Madame Ping. So, Madam Ping's friend! <gasps> Aha! Of course! No machine can compare to a real live Oni Kabuto warrior! Did Guobasan pick a dumbed down enemy on purpose so we can showcase all our awesome skills? You may be wise to temper your optimism, Oni King. My beetle senses are failing to detect this Oni Kabuto's might. Or perhaps. It's too profound for me to fathom. It's not even alive. There's nothing for you to sense. Uh, anyway, Guobasan may possess limitless power, but a warrior needs to be one with his weapon. The bond between Oni Kabuto and Trainer is forged through blood, sweat, and tears. Not wood, mesh, and gears. <laughs> Crimson Staff and I are like glove and fist. Let's get this duel going. It's time for Guobasan to witness my true potential once and for all! For sure made short work of the Bloom Pruner. I won! Victory is mine! With my trusty Crimson Staff, I have defeated the mighty Guobasan! Alrighty then. <laughs> the moment I've been waiting for. <clears throat> Guobasan, if I have earned your recognition, I humbly ask you to teach me the ways of shelled organism communication. <laughs> Huh? Guobasan, you look... pleased? But you just lost to me in battle. Does this mean you're... proud of me for my swift progress? Aw, oh, shucks! I don't know what to say! <laughs> you're too kind, Guobasan. 
Now, you're just being modest. I know you were going easy on me. It looks like Guoba's all warmed up now. The Bloom Pruner is ready to operate at full power. Guoba, remember the plan? In this round, we want to increase the Bloom Pruner's power output from a tenth of a percent to one percent, okay? Any higher and you'll risk knocking Ito's Oni Kabuto out cold. <sighs> okay, there it is. Paimon knew something was up. As I feared, we have barely scratched the surface. Wait, hold on a minute. A tenth of one percent? As in 0.1 percent? As in one one thousandth? Uh, you've got to... you've got to be kidding me. All that was just one one thousandth of its top power? No, no, no. Guoba's a little confused. You did say you wanted to train your Oni Kabuto to defeat Crystal Tornado, correct? I thought it would go without saying given the size. The Bloom Pruner has to shift rocks the size of casserole dishes, so obviously it has to be pretty strong. Even then, Crystal Tornado is bigger still. It dwarfs me and Guoba, and it's even taller than you! That's impossible! If we were talking, oh, twice as strong as the last fight, I think I'd have a shot. Ten times as strong, and we're already looking at losing most, if not all, of the time. But a thousand times stronger? Who am I kidding? It's hopeless. Uh. When your tactics fail, you have to change your point of view. In our journeys far and wide, we often have to think on our feet. Clinging to old methods can never solve the problem, no matter how hard you try. Of course, Guobasan. This is what you've been trying to tell me all along. I gotta study mechanics, then build a suit of armor for Crimson Staff that'll take his abilities to a whole new level. Or maybe, heck, I could build a bigger, stronger mechanical Oni Kabuto, piloted by Crimson Staff under my direction. <gasps> An Oni Kabuto piloting a mechanical Oni Kabuto? How do you expect to pull that off? It does not even still count as a beetle battle. Seeing the power of Bloom Pruner has made me realize something. There's a natural limit to Oni Kabuto's strength. People have tried to tell me this before. Shinobu, the Grandmaster, especially Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon. Admitting defeat is shameful, but not even trying to mix up your tactics one time? That's just plain stupid! Guobasan has shown me a new path. Mechanically modified Oni Kabuto. With this new technique in my arsenal, size will be no obstacle to me and my valiant beetle warriors as we set out to beat Crystal Tornado once and for all! No, no, no. <laughs> Looks like Woba's not too sure about all that. Mechanics, huh? Hmm... I'd have to get my master to see if her friend would be willing to help. She's the expert. Did you say expert? Please, Guobasan, Chef-sama, my savior! Introduce me. Uh-huh. Thinking of becoming the second Arataki gang member to study in Liyue, are you, boss? Ah, Shinobu! When'd you get back? Time's up. We spent our last mora on these boat tickets. And if we don't get to the harbor pronto, they'll go to waste. But, 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 I, I, give me a minute, okay? We're, we're, we're in the middle of an extremely important discussion here. Yeah, I heard. I was actually very pleased to hear the suggestion of you doing some sort of studying coming out of your own mouth. I have some relevant experience, so I can write a little booklet to get you started. But unfortunately, studying in Liyue is very expensive. The Arataki Gang's typical expenditures are a drop in the ocean by comparison. So, what do you intend to do about it? It'll be fine. I'll just... Uh... I'll work like a horse when I get back to Inazuma. I know what I'm getting into here, alright? I got it all planned out in my head. It's not like I've never gotten paid work before. Soon as I get earning, we'll all have cash for the burning. 
And don't think for one second I'll be abandoning you or the rest of the Arataki gang, neither. I ain't the kind of head honcho that runs off to go study and leaves his gang behind. If we're gonna study, we do it as a team. Once I've got enough mora for everyone's tuition fees, the whole Arataki gang is coming to Liyue. We'll study together, learn some epic new skills together, and come out the other side as the stronger, smarter, invincible Arataki gang. You're saying all of the right things. Uh, who are you and what have you done with Boss? Wow, Bullchucker! Those were some bold words! You better make sure you follow through. <laughs> of course, I, uh, I still need to iron out some deeds in terms of what kind of work I can get and how much I can break in per day, but, yeah. In that case, Oni King, I'll stay here in Liwe. Firstly, this will enable me to follow up with Chef Sama and discuss our study plans in detail. Secondly, now that word of the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp has begun to spread, I'll be able to scout for talented warriors and continue optimizing the Oni Kabuto training diet. Also, if the Oni King's right hand and sky cleaving white iron lavender melon wish to continue battling or analyze the battle so far, I'll be here to support them. Awesome! Good thinking, Grandmaster! Okay, standard procedure applies. I'll let your grandpops know what you're up to so he won't worry about you. <laughs> man, I am so pumped to see what you'll have for us next time I see you. I do need to make one thing clear, though. I can't promise that we'll be able to talk an Adeptus into taking you on as students. Yenfei and I will do our best, but we'll just have to see how it goes. The great master of whom you speak boasts a skill others can only dream of. Their pride and prestige don't faze us. The important thing is that I, on behalf of the Oni King and the Arataki Gang, can find a way to show them we're serious and sincere in our quest to master the mechanical arts. So I'll need to do some research to find out what kind of gift we should offer if we're to be seen as worthy of learning the mysteries behind the manufacturer of the Bloom Pruner. Boss, we gotta leave right now or we're not gonna make it in time. <sighs> All right, I guess this is it. Traveler, Paimon, Yenfei Senpai, Miss Shengling, Guoba. You've all been a huge help to boss with this beetle battle event. I really can't thank you enough. Please, take this as a token of my gratitude. I hope you can find some use for it in your future endeavors. Wow, you got us a gift! Thanks, Shinobu, you're so thoughtful! Time has come. Adios, compadre. See ya, sky cleaving white iron lavender melon. Goodbye, Guobasan and Chef Sama. And farewell, my savior. I'll be back real soon. I promise. We'll meet again. La 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 la. Don't make promises you can't keep, Bullchucker. It's good to have ambitions, but don't let yourself get carried away in the heat of the moment. Do what Shinobu tells you. Be realistic about what you can achieve, and make sure you pace yourself. But of course, if everything works out, Paimon can't wait to see Crimson Staff driving a ginormous mechanical Onikabuto the next time we meet. 